All right, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video today. So today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you guys are not familiar with MCB, AKA Mystery Tackle Box, um, we're gonna be throwing it today. It is basically a box where you get a bunch of lures. I have the saltwater fishing version. So I get a bunch of lures that are for saltwater inshore fishing. Um, they have boxes for bass and uh, let's see, they even have ice fishing. So basically you get this once a month in the mail. It's a bunch of random lures. You don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know what this is. Well, actually I kind of do. I took a look in there, but it is very exciting to get. It's kind of like a Christmas every month at the beginning of the month. So I think this is actually last month's box. I just haven't had a chance to use it yet, but we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna throw some of the lures in here and hopefully we're gonna get some snook, redfish, trout, tarpon, who even knows today. All right, so the first thing I see that I'm absolutely going to use today is these guys right here. These are Z-Man, I don't even know what they're called. I'm gonna look at them here in a second. Uh, razor Shads, they have like a little fish tail. They look really, really cool. And this is color Houdini. So Houdini is a color I used a lot a couple years ago. I would, I would always fish Z-Man uh, when I would do wading and stuff like that. I'd fish the paddlers, but these uh, razor shads actually look really cool. So we're gonna throw this around. I guess we're gonna fish like docks, mangroves today, like, like our usual. And uh, I think I'm gonna pair it with, uh, I have them somewhere. I'm gonna pair them with these guys right here. These are VMC uh, weighted worm hooks. We'll, put, we'll throw that on there and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I pair it up. So that right there is our little uh, razor shads. And one thing about Z-Man, if you guys didn't know, is they are super freaking stretchy. Like they will not break from fish. You can catch tons of fish on a Z-Man. Let's go ahead and put it on our weighted worm hook here. All right, so that right there is our finished product. Uh, Z-Man razor shads rigged with a weighted worm hook. And the good thing about MTB is you can actually try lures that you've never tried before. So I'm using that, never tried it before. Should catch fish, Z-Mans are really good lures. But if you guys wanna try MTB, you can use a link in my description or you can use code Justin when you sign up. It'll get you your first box for only $10. You can try it out and cancel it if you uh, don't like it. But MTB, thank you guys for sponsoring the video today. Let's, uh, let's get fishing. All right, see if you guys can see this here, but this lure looks incredible. Check that out. It looks really freaking good. And if I know anything about lures, it's gonna skip. Yep, incredibly well. We're gonna get some snook today. Definitely, definitely we'll get a snook on this thing. Ooh, snook right there. Right, right there. It's a nice snook. Mm, broke me. Ah, I love fishing. Wow. Dang, dude. Afraid it. See right there how it's got that really rough edge frayed right through all right oh nothing i can do about that I'm hoping you guys knew what that is. That was a nice tarpon right there. He, uh, not surprised that he didn't stay hooked, but nice tarpon sitting underneath that dock hammered the uh, Z-Man. Just shook it off. Thought I had him after the first jump and man, that kind of sucks. Sitting in the shadows. I love when 
people see you coming to fish near their dock and they intentionally let their dogs out. That's awesome. It's funny because, you know what, never mind. Well, there's tarpon. That's probably why they don't want me fishing their dock. Stuck him a couple times that time. Come here. <laughs> what are the odds he jumps off? Probably a 95% chance that happens. Oh, he's actually hooked perfectly. That's what I like. All right, come here, little tarpon. <laughs> All right, there he goes. All right, so time for an update because I haven't had any action in like the past two hours. I've just been fishing and not finding anything since uh, that little tarpon actually. So we're just gonna move on to our next little spot here and uh, keep throwing the Z-Man and hopefully I'm gonna connect with something decent. Something decent, I need some today. Big stuff, just ate it. Or decent stuff, not a big one. Nice. Oh, there goes another one. I'll tell you what. When I was fishing the uh, little residential canal earlier, I was thinking, man, the water is so much higher than normal. I'm going to head over to the mangroves. I bet fish are in the mangroves like crazy. And here he is. Check out that little racer shad right there in the corner of his mouth. I'm going to be using that a lot more for, uh, for snook fishing because I love the action on it. And it, it really does look like a fish. Like, it looks like a bait fish the way it wiggles out back and forth back and forth kind of similar to like a voodoo mullet the way that works but let's go ahead and get this guy back in the water all right back in the water you go snooky biting on my thumb ow ow all right go back to the mangroves all right let's keep going That was sick. Holy crap. Dang, that was... <laughs> I took my eye off the lure for one second and I just hear BAM! <laughs> and he smoked the razor shad on the surface. It's a little bit better one than the last one. That was cool. Yep, definitely a little bit better. Oh, he's barely hooked. Barely, barely hooked. He's actually hooked on the outside of the mouth. Oh no, he's hooked pretty well. That's a nice snook right there. Alrighty, so snook number two of the day is probably, eh, 24 inches about just a bit under slot but smoked smoked the z-man razor shots right there it was wiggling across the surface going left right left right i took my eye off for, for one second then boom smacked it but we'll go ahead and land back in the water here i'll actually get a measure on her or uh on him but sick fish either way Ugh, come here bud i'm gonna say 24 right there on zero all the way back to, ooh, we got 25. Underestimated the snook. Ugh. I actually switched to earlier when I rigged up, I had the twist lock type weighted worm hooks. And those are very tough to use with Z-Man. I'm sure most of you guys know if you've ever tried it. So I switched to just a regular weighted worm hook. And that seems to be the key for uh, rigging those Z-Man. All right. Yep, see ya. That's a nice fish. I don't know where that fish was sitting because I thought I could see the whole shoreline and clearly I couldn't. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to call the video here, but before I go, I wanted to show you guys what else came in the mystery tackle box because I only showed you guys the razor shads. So we'll look at that right now. So we got the box right there, open it up. You got, or what I got, uh, let's see, that's like a bucktail jig. Then we got these, which I plan on using soon for a video. They're like these cool looking paddle tails with like ribs and like, I don't even know what to say. It's got like a, got like a big eye right there. They look very neat. So I'm probably gonna use those in a video soon. Then we got like some fathom inshore curly tail. Uh, I guess I want to call them jigs. They've got like a like a grub bait. Probably good for like flounder, black drum, trout, things like that. But next thing, lunker hunt rattle spud. Never used that before. It looks kind of like a little spoon type lure. Um, not sure what that would be actually used for inshore. But last thing we got here is a what is this thing called? Strike Pro, it looks like just a, like a like a jerk bait with a white uh, back, orange belly. It'll probably be good for snook. Let's see, suspend, what's the depth for? Depth for two foot, so it'll probably be good for docks and stuff for snook. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was uh, it was very close to being an amazing day. It ended up being just just an average day, I would say. Two snook, missed missed a nice snook, got those tarpon uh, to jump on the bait and stuff like that. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.